Hi, my name is Vanna May, and I'll be speaking about the Glasgow style of art nouveau. Under the direction of its new headmaster, Francis Newberry, and alumni Charles Rennie McIntosh, the Glasgow School of Art would establish itself as one of the leading art academies in 1890s Europe. Newberry's mission for art was to fuse functionalism with beauty while encouraging individuality and experimentation. Known as the Glasgow Four, Charles Rennie McIntosh, the MacDonald sisters, and Herbert McNair pioneered what has become known as the Glasgow style. During the 1890s to early 1900s, there was a revival in the interest of ancient Celtic myth and art. The four and their contemporaries were not exempt from this interest. They were inspired by Celtic imagery, literature, symbolism, and folklore. Artists of the Glasgow style designed many book covers and also illustrated many books, especially children's books. The Charles Rooney Macintosh typography is very distinctive, though it can be difficult to read at times. The quote from Charles on the right reads, There is hope in honest error, none in the icy imperfections of the mere stylist. Charles and wife Margaret MacDonald designed many rooms together, as well as windows of those rooms. Here are a few of their designs. The couple collaborated on many works. As Charles wrote to Margaret, You must remember that in all my architectural efforts, you have been half, if not three quarters of them. I had talent, but Margaret had genius. Art Nouveau designers endeavored to achieve the synthesis of art and craft, furthering this with a spiritually uplifting total work of art, which encompasses a variety of media. Charles and Margaret's design of Hill House was successful at the unification of fine and applied arts. Here are a few examples of posters designed in the Glasgow style. You can see the influence of Celtic design, especially in the middle poster and the one on the far right. Charles and Margaret traveled to Vienna to exhibit their work. The people of Vienna loved their style and began to incorporate and evolve the Glasgow style. Charles and Margaret, still high from their wildly successful show, returned to the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, the UK did not receive the Glasgow style with open arms. The Glasgow Four would die in relative obscurity until they are rediscovered in the late 20th century. Klimt loved Margaret's paintings and style, which in turn greatly influenced his art. Klimt would have a very successful artistic career. Frank Lloyd Wright's windows were also inspired by Charles and Margaret's own designs. In 1999, Butch designed this glass window, which is in turn inspired by Charles's own rose designs. Here is a poster for the Swedish band First Aid Kit for their shows at the Hi-Fi in Australia. The artist's poster's designs is reminiscent of the Vienna Succession which stemmed from the Glasgow style. And last, we have the American Horror Story, which uses the Charles Rennie Macintosh typography.